The quickest, easiest, no wiring needed LED flickering torches for your tabletop landscapes that's as easy as plugging a battery into a piece of foam? That's this week on Tabletop Witchcraft. Hey there, welcome back to Tabletop Witchcraft. This week we're tackling a project that for me is long overdue. Flickering LED torches for my tabletop, terrain, buildings, all that stuff. This is a project I put off for a long time because I thought it was going to be a technical, tough project with wiring and I was kind of, you know, shying away from it. But I'm here to tell you it's a super easy, super fun project that is literally as simple as plug and play and you got light for all your terrain features. You're going to spend more time adding a flame effect, painting up these torches, than you are with any type of technical electrical part of this build. Super easy, super fun. So let's go grab some diodes and let's get crafting. Okay, so we're going to start off by grabbing a 3mm diode and some heat shrink tubing. You're going to want the uh, very small uh, heat shrink tubing in the next size up. Um, from the pack here. Um, the link to these will be in the description below. And then uh, some small washers here. You'll just need one of them as well. Alright, now you're going to take some heat shrink tubing and over one part of the connector to the diode, you're just going to put that heat shrink on there. Um, just heat it up a little bit. Uh, you don't have to go too crazy. And then you're going to cut the next size tubing and slide it over both now. And this time you want the tubing to be just a little bit shorter than the first section of tubing that you had cut. I'm trying to make sure that these two connectors here don't touch. Once you have that on there, just a little bit of heat and connect those as well. Right there, you see you're pulling them together. Now that's going to look just like a torch almost all by itself. Once it's uh, a little bit cool to the touch, you can go ahead and squeeze those together um, and twist it a little bit and it'll look like the wrappings in a torch. Then just give these a little bit of a bend, enough for the battery um, to slip in through here. Uh, less, a little less than an eighth of an inch, I'd say. And now there's two ways of attaching the uh, diode to the washer. You can use a little hot glue. It's a little bit more of a, a rustic look. Once the glue's on there, you can use the heat from the gun to kind of sculpt it how you want. Or you can go ahead and actually sculpt a piece here with some green stuff. I think these look a little bit uh, better but again they take a little bit longer than the hot glue. You can do things like adding you know like little uh, rivet holes here um, with the green stuff. Alright now we're gonna go ahead and create the flame so just put some hot glue right onto the diode and you wanna build it up quite a bit and as you're building it up, dip it in some water, some cool water, and it's going to allow you to really mold the hot glue to whatever uh, shape you want, uh, obviously making it smaller and smaller as you go up towards the tip there. It's a lot of fun because there's a lot of different variations. You could add like here a little secondary flame coming off of the, uh, the torch. And you want to be careful not to make the flame too big. Um, because then you know the light won't obviously reach all the way to the end of the glue so about half to three quarters of an inch this is a really cool flame that I had made um, this was a little bit too big but I just thought it was really cool and figured I'd show it to you everything behind that um, black painted green stuff plate you won't see so here I am painting it uh, it's not really black I'm using a German gray by Vallejo and then I'm going to dry brush it with some metallic uh, paint, also from Vallejo. A real light dry brush, just to add a little bit of sheen to it. Now I'm going to take some really small magnets. Um, the size and the exact ones I'm using, again, in the description. But a little tiny dab of super glue on that. And right at the very top of how would the torch would be associated like with the wall, you're going to drop that magnet right on there with a pair of wooden tweezers 
And again, we're crafters, so those you can just make with some popsicle sticks and foam. Now you're gonna go ahead and wherever you want to put your torch. This is just for example, a little sample wall I made. You're gonna poke a little hole. And then right at the center of that hole, um, on each side, you're gonna center it, cut a little slit out, almost like a little coin slot. Okay, now here's the key. When you put the hot glue around this opening, you wanna bring it in a little at a time and bring it in so that now this glue is a little bit smaller than that opening. So when you push that battery in, it's gonna hold it in place really secure. And there's no way that's gonna come out unless you actually try and pull it out yourself. Okay, then we're just gonna go ahead and behind that plate there, we're gonna bend the diode leads right there just so we can get it in through the foam. And pinch those end connectors there so they don't get caught on the foam. And push it right through. Now you can also heat up a pin to make that hole too. If you don't wanna use a, you know, a skewer or, or a sculpting tool. And you can see that magnet. We've glued one in the foam as well. And now it's gonna hold that torch right in place. Then all you gotta do is separate the um, ends of the diode. And you can make that hole bigger. It doesn't have to be as small as I made it. So you can put that diode right in and you can skip that step. But as you can see, all you gotta do now is plug that battery right in and you're good to go. It's as simple as that. Plug the battery in and you're done. Pull it out when you're done for the night. And I've tested these batteries with these LED diodes and I stopped the test at 100 hours of a continuous runtime. You can see they're not coming out unless I pull it out myself. No wiring at all required. I love it. Now you might recognize this building that's from a video I released earlier this year, my tavern build, and I retrofitted this torch to fit right in. Now, this method of making LED torches, it's not only good when you're working with buildings, okay, but it can also be applied when you're working with dungeon walls. You can take your wall, like something like this, and then on the back side, leave some bricks cut out. And where one of the bricks is cut out, that's where you'll insert your battery. You can paint the battery black, or you can make it even look like some stone, or you can take a brick and cover the battery up when you're done. So you can add it to all your um, dungeon walls as well. And if you have columns and you want to make them a little bit more mobile throughout the dungeon, you can get real fancy and offset your brick pattern so that this comes apart. And you have a little hole on the inside where your battery goes, put your torch coming right out the front, and you're all set. Or you can take this build right on a Proxon, cut it in half, and go that way too. Um, so you have plenty of options. Uh, the diodes um, in the description below, they come with some resistors. You don't even really need these. You could toss those, but you get a hundred pack of these diodes uh, for like 10 bucks. And the, like I said um, earlier in the video, um, these diodes on the test that I did, they lasted a hundred hours with one battery straight through. And all they did was start to dim a little bit by the end and they're still going. So it's a great value, 10 bucks, hundred diodes. Uh, so I hope this video put any fear behind you that you might've had working with this type of stuff. Now you can add light to your dungeons and buildings as well. With that, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you around.